Good morning and welcome to this end of the Sunrise Safari where the sun is doing an extremely poor job of rising. Well, actually I suppose the sun has done its job, it has risen, but unfortunately there is a very thick layer of cloud covering the sky currently. My name is Jamez Hendry. That is my winning Tuesday morning smile. On camera today we have the substantial form of Gerrit. That is his thumb, which is roughly the same size as my forearm. And we <laughs> and our plan this morning is to head around and see if we can find some leopard tracks. That is what I wish to see today. It's very lovely to be back in the wilderness, such as the in as much as the wilderness can, or in as much as the Sabi sands can be described as a wilderness. And we're hopefully going to find some interesting things. Watch for the tail lifting. Oh. He's smelling carefully. He's going. <laughs> so I don't think he's the only rhino that's visited there recently. I definitely think that he is the territorial bull of this area, however. But like I say, cows and other rhino in the area will visit that midden, and often the cows will defecate thereupon, but they won't break up the dung like he does when he's marking territory. Now we can see his face. rubbing what's left of his horn on the ground there. I think he's probably leaving scent there as well, you know, or maybe just having a scratch. There we go, yeah, no, he's definitely leaving scent. So he rubbed his face, then had a spray, and then scraped his feet. Hey, finally drinking. Hmm? <laughs> Caro, yes, this is a good point. They do always look like they have very full bellies. It doesn't actually mean that they do. It just means that they're really gassy because the way a zebra digests food, there's a lot of fermentation that happens in the hindgut and it makes them very, very gassy. So it's just a tummy full of zebra gas. That's what it is. So you can't actually judge the condition based on how full they look because they look full all the time even if they aren't. It's just because they ferment everything that's in their belly and create a lot of gas. So that gas fills them up and bloats them. But they do look amazing. If you have a look at that mane. Oh, time for a bathroom break. Hello, boy. Um, if you have a look at his mane, you can see that his mane is standing straight up. It is not bending at all. That is a good way to tell what condition a zebra is in. Exactly what we were hoping for this morning. Zebras and now jackals. So good. And it's not even just one or two jackals, it's a family. And I think this might have been the same family I saw in February with nine of them together. There's at least four here that we've seen so far, but it looks like they're just starting to kind of get active again. We hit a bit of a dip in the temperature earlier, now it's warming up. And it's time for them to do a little bit of grooming. Here it isn't really that unsafe for them to all be together and playing and bonding like they are now. But in the Sabi San Nature Reserve it would be quite risky. It would draw quite a lot of attention from things like side striped jackals, leopards, lions, wild dogs, hyenas. <laughs> I think they can afford it more here because it's a little safer for them to be in big groups. It's almost like having consecutive litters that stick around to help. <laughs> These adults are actually like pups in behavior. It's very sweet. <laughs> hey, 
wouldn't be a drive at Medikwe if we didn't come across the gorgeous giraffes. Especially in the east. It's been a cold, blustery morning here. The sun hasn't popped out at all. The skies are just overcast and they feel really low. You know that low feeling when the sky's right above you? I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but it does to me. But of course, we managed to find these guys. And look at these small little ones. Ah, oh. <sighs> got your pom-poms on. The giraffes in Majikwe are really, really stunning in great condition. Most of them, some of them do have that sort of HPV virus. And the variation in colour and patterns is really quite striking. And it's really obvious when you watch a herd like that. Yes, they're all sort of, they've all got patches. But if you really look closely, they're all incredibly different. We're getting glorious visuals of this one's face. And behind this one is another one. But I don't think we've actually got a visual now that we've repositioned. So it's two leopard face. Hmm. If only I spoke vulture. And I don't. Hmm. Okay, I'm definitely suspicious now. I'm going to scratch this area and hopefully we get lucky. troop of dwarf mongooses sniffing away hi guys so thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your comments. Uh, we will see you again at 14.30 for the Sunset Safari. Bye-bye.